My guest today is actor, editor, writer, musician, big sister, Kate Freund, responsible for such wonderful characters and works as Turdy Longbows and Mega Bitch Meltdown, uh, as well as higher brow fare uh, like uh, actress. Um, again, we're very lucky to have her with us. Thank you for being here, Kate. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, looking at the, cur the oeuvre of your work, uh, it's, it's, it strikes me um, that for a person trying to find a way into what it is to be Kate, that it's almost a sort of patchwork quilt, a coat of many colors. And I look, uh, as most people would, for a sort of common denominator, some sort of um, defining uh, Kate Freund aspect, some way to jack into what it is to be Kate Freund in this world. And I find that it's sort of uh, hard to lock in, and it occurs to me that possibly there isn't uh, a Kate Freund there, that that's entirely a possibility. Uh, and if that is, in fact, the case, then uh, it begs the question, uh, and it's interesting to consider, when exactly will Kate Freund make uh, some sort of entertainment uh, that lets us know what it's like to be Kate Freund? I think I'll hit my stride when I'm like 80, and you'll see the real Kate. What do you mean by that? Where are you, where are you going with that? Everyone has this pressure of, you know, you're 30 under 30, 60 under 60, and I go, life doesn't really get excited in, until you're like 80. So as I a, want something to look forward to. As a woman who is an actress, um, you can be cast and placed, but as someone who's directing, producing, writing, uh, you have to force your way into the field. I wonder if you find that that's more difficult. No, because it takes out the desperation element of you're not dependent on something else to create. So in your case, for example... You can do anything! The, the sort of grotesque um, manifestation of a child hero in Turdy Longbows, a sort of Pippi Longstocking gone demonic. I wanted to be Pippi Longstocking, and I like being really stupid on camera because it's liberating. Do you feel alone behind the camera? I mean, no. in, the, in the company of women, there are um, very few that you can name in the Channel 101 community, and obviously there are very... There's so the many girls. Making. Making things, yes. Does it get frustrating for you for people like Erica Marie who start and then stop, or seem to start and then stop? Look it's at gone. Drew Hancock. Where the, where the fuck is he? He used to make things, now he's gone. Where's Ryan Ridley? I don't know. Where's J.D. Risner? I don't know. They have a wiener. They disappeared. Some I don't think you can up. just have it. Did they grow up? I mean, I guess J.D. has, a, has children. Drew has cats. Ryan. Sorry, Ryan. What did you have for breakfast today? I had oatmeal. What? Now, what do you think that that says about black culture and black film and black media and black filmed entertainment? Well, I'm, obs I'm very into, um, into that. What would you say to someone who's trying to get into Channel 101 who has uh, work that they'd like to show or something they'd like to do? I think, you know, you wear something kind of cute, a little sleazy, and you show up to Channel 101 and you talk to some people. And this it's is the kind of done. arrogance that people from the outside say makes it hard to get in. I think if you have a skill set and you can do something, people will love you to work for them for free. You've been watching Screenshots with Elvis Mitchell. I'm Elvis Mitchell. My guest has been actor, director, etc. Kate Freund. Screenshots is brought to you every week by 101 Ski, a random collection of 101 whiskeys. Remember, every movie starts with the first shot. And every screenshot ends with the last shot. I'm Elvis Mitchell. Cheers.